In the meantime, I, I want to get your take on what happened in L.A. yesterday. So I know that you were very excited when Darvin Ham was named the new head coach of the Lakers, and they introduced him officially yesterday. And he was talking, among other things, about Russell Westbrook's role on the team going forward. Here's what the new coach had to say. Don't get it messed up. Russ is one of the best players our league has ever seen. And there's still a ton left in that tank. I don't know why people tend to try to write him off. Uh, Russell Westbrook was there, by the way, at the press conference. What do you think? How about the Westbrook of it all going forward, Jalen? When you get the job, Greeny, you tag a veteran player to do something that you know he hasn't been doing. Mm -hmm. And that's play defense. And so now we're not going to even worry about the turnovers right now. We're not going to worry about the low field goal percentage. We're not going to worry about whether he's on or off the ball. Since I know he's going to be my starting point guard likely, I'm going to need him to do something that he hasn't been doing. That's compete defensively. So now that I put that out there, if he does not do that, now I put myself in position to make him a reserve. That's what I saw. And here's the undercurrent that we didn't play. Mm -hmm. Anthony Davis also is going to be a benefic benefactor of the hiring of Darvin Ham. He helped develop Al Horford in Atlanta, helped turn Giannis into an MVP, Brooke Lopez into a defender, and Bobby Portis into a rotation player. Now Anthony Davis, if and when he can stay healthy, the challenge is going to be to turn him back into a top seven or eight performer in the league. And don't underestimate, they also added Rashi Wallace mm. to the coaching staff. A guy that been was one of the most talented bigs in the league. And both of those guys as champions will be challenging Russ, will be challenging AD. So LeBron don't have to. So LeBron don't have to. He could be the OG, go out there and play his minutes, put up his work, and then let the coaching staff focus on Russ playing defense and Anthony Davis being dominant. It's a really interesting way of looking at it quickly because the Anthony Davis piece of it, staying healthy is obviously the most important part. How about the Westbrook piece? Can they get from him what, whatever it is that they're trying to get from him? Is it still in there? Can it work with him and LeBron on the floor together? It can. Here's something that I want to see the Lakers do that didn't happen last year. you got to stagger their minutes and even consider making Russ a reserve. That's not a dis- or a disrespect. It's just that you want to get the maximum out of LeBron as a ball handler, and you want to get the maximum out of Russ as a ball handler. And watch the Lakers do a lot more small lineups. We saw them flirt with it last year with LeBron basically playing four, basically playing five. That will happen so Russ can have the ball. But also play faster. Play with more tempo. Russ is still one of the most fastest, still one of the fastest players in the league. You got to get a defensive rebound. You got to get a steal. You got to get him out in transition. And also, he's making $47 million this year. Mm -hmm. I love that so very much. Now you got to get down in the defensive stance and earn that money. Now you got to get down in the defensive stance and earn that money. Fair enough. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.